thank you for tuning in and welcome to my home and studio. This tour is part of Atlantic City's Art Foundation's virtual 48 blocks. All the pieces you're gonna to see today are original and will be available for sale with the exception of one. I'd like to start by introducing my camera woman, Tiffany Connor. <laughs> Hello. And my mom, Helen Theo, who is the designer of the quarantine wall. I couldn't have done it without her. So we are gonna start in the living room with uh, some of my older pieces. We'll check out my work area and then we'll make our way to the bedroom where I have my entire quarantine collection all right, let's get started. We're going to start over here above the couch. He is titled uh, Retired in the Keys. I had bought this canvas from a yard sale. Uh, it's three canvases built in one. It originally had these very thick painted parrots on it. I adjusted over it and realized that that texture wasn't going anywhere and it kind of made the piece. Um, he looks sun-worn um, with the turquoises and the golds, and it just reminds me of a man retired in the Keys, living it up. All right. This is my little art nook over here. This piece is titled Sell Your Soul and Take It Back. It was inspired from a trip to New Orleans. I was very inspired by the music, the voodoo, and the characters um, of New Orleans. So this piece features all of that. This is one of my older works. This is from 2010. Uh, this is one of my first Cubist kind of Picasso style. Uh, this is acrylic on stretch canvas. And then we have these two little guys, which are older pieces as well. All right. Now we're going to make our way over here. This is the only painting that is not for sale. This was a gift to my mom uh, last year for Christmas. I love her expression. She's just kind of looking at you as you're looking at her. And I titled her Lady in Red. Now we have one of my Frida portraits, which I did about three years ago. Frida is one of my biggest inspirations, not so much from her style, but just who she was as a person. So I will always have a Frida portrait in my home. Now we have this piece here. I did this completely with a palette knife. I had reworked the face several times adding a line to define the eye, removing it, putting it back, and in the end, I feel that it is best unfinished um, and very impressionistic style. Again, done solely with a palette knife, acrylic on canvas. All right, now we're gonna make our way to the bedroom where I have my entire quarantine collection on display. This is a work in progress, not ready for the camera. <laughs> so my mom designed this wall. Uh, it's absolutely an art in itself. I could never have hung and organized the way she did. I'm so happy with this. Yeah. Here. So this is one of the my first pieces I did during quarantine. Um, this was a reworked canvas. This was many paintings before it was this, just it over several times. Uh, again, I like this unfinished look, kind of graffiti style, the hot pinks with the silver metallics. Um, so she will stay unfinished as well. Now we're going over to here. These were one of my first pieces I did during quarantine. Um, originally, I had designed it as abstract flowers, but it didn't occur to me until a friend pointed it out that they actually look like toilet paper, which again, this was in the beginning of quarantine when people were hoarding TP. So they are titled Pretty Little Hoarders, Perfect for a Powder Room. <laughs> 
They are um, acrylic on canvas and then a resin pour on top. Is it nice shiny? Now we're getting to my sketchbook works. Uh, during quarantine, I spent a lot of time in my sketchbook uh, working on blind contours where you're only looking at your reference photo. Um, these are more semi blind con contours where you are looking at your work throughout the process. I love the gold uh, metallic pen on top of it. This is the Gold King. He's one of my favorites. This is just pen with um, metallic gold paint pen. Now this one, um, I absolutely love her. This is a recurring theme throughout the quarantine collection is this gold flower of hope. Um, so you can see she looks very worried, kind of like she has the weight of the world on her shoulders, but yet there's this sprouting gold flower of hope, which I think we could all use during these times. <laughs> now these two pieces I love as a pair. Um, the top one, she's very 20s style. This was a continuous line drawing I did originally in the sketchbook uh, and then added acrylic paint and um, heavy gold paint as well. This was done pretty much one continuous line. Now at the bottom here, this was actually a blind contour of a reference photo of Cher. Um, I did the entire drawing only looking at the reference photo. And then I came back in, added the gold, the hair texture, and the white accents. So this would be considered a semi-blind semi contour. Now this may be my favorite creation. Um, this was the first Flower of Hope drawing. I love it. It's she looks a little worried and heavy, but again, that flower of hope sprouting through. This is continuous line drawing, gold metallic paint. And this little guy was one of my first contours. Uh, I actually did this looking in the mirror. So this is a self portrait, um, pen and ink on canvas. I like how it kind of looks like a little leg and arm popping up as well. Now again, we have our Flower of Hope. Uh, this is a pastel on paper. I love her expression. She looks resilient, even though she's going through hard times. Coming down here was a self-portrait. Um, I started with metallic paint pens and then came in with acrylic. This is on black canvas. This is a small piece, but I think would be great, um, you know, in a powder room as well or in a, in a little nook. And then this little guy is a continuous line drawing, again with the flower of hope. This pen on paper framed. Uh, right here we have, oh, my little pink pillbox hat. This is very Jackie O. She's a fashionista. She's strong. I love the pinks with the whites. Uh, this is marker, paint, and uh, watercolor pencils on canvas board. And coming up here, we have an Edie Sedgwick portrait. Those of you who don't know, Edie Sedgwick was one of uh, Andy Warhol's main muses. I've done several portraits of her. I absolutely love her. And in this, you'll see when the light hits it, the gold accents really brighten the, the piece. Now coming up here is one of my 
first portraits I did during quarantine and she just has that classic quarantine expression. Uh, this is watercolor pencils on canvas. Now moving over to here, we have pastel on paper. This is titled Reflections. Uh, it's the lotus flower, you know, coming through the murkiness, tough times, and then coming full circle. So again, this is meant to be a sign of hope and resilience. Now this line drawing is Lady Smirk. Uh, she looks like she has a lot to say and she's not afraid to say it. Uh, this is pen on paper. And every time I look at her, I laugh with that expression. <laughs> right now we have a portrait of Twiggy. She doesn't need much introduction. Uh, this is bright pinks, metallics, uh, silver, which of course is featuring most Twiggy's eyes. Now we have Modern Day Scream, which is inspired by Edward, Edward Munch. I think that's how you say it. Uh, the original Scream. So this is Modern Day Scream, quarantine style. Acrylic on stretch canvas. And now last but not least, this is titled The Look. Her eyes are real big. Um, I love the expression. You, you want to know exactly what she's looking at. Uh, the deep greens and the reds. This is one of my favorite portraits. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for tuning in. I really want to thank the Atlantic City Arts Foundation for this amazing opportunity. It has been so rewarding to see my art um, that was created during quarantine together, framed, um, and as a collection. Truly one of the most rewarding experiences. So thank you to the Atlantic City Arts Foundation, to my mom for designing this beautiful wall, and to my camerawoman, Tiffany Connor. Signing off, thanks, guys. <laughs>